Now that is right, Trudy is here. Let's get straight into it. Morning, Trudy. Good morning. So you want to talk about um, clean beauty routine. Clean what's a, beauty what's a clean routine? beauty routine? Look, a clean beauty routine is a natural beauty routine. And I guess the best way to get one is to just embrace natural beauty products. Read the labels of those products. Search out the best natural ingredients and in products that you can afford. Um, and it's interesting, it's actually the fastest growing category in the cosmetic sector, um, clean beauty. And when Target and Walmart and Walgreens in, Australia, uh, in the U US um, come out and say that they're looking for clean beauty to sell, you know that wow. it's really changing. Yeah, well yeah. that's that's the thing, isn't it? Then it's a very big deal. Yeah. So where do you start? I think you start with the products that you use to cleanse your body, like shampoo, body wash, toothpaste, those are the most toxic products on the shelves. And when I say toxic, I mean they are the least natural. And those are the ones that you wash off down the drain that end up in our oceans. So if you can start there with those budget buys, mm -hmm. Um, that's a great way to start embracing natural yeah, and helping it. the planet at the same time. Because quite often you forget about what's going on in your body. You You're do. thinking about your face, but you forget the rest of yeah, your body. Yeah, and that's body. what you use the most of. The shampoo, the body wash, the scrubs, all of those things. Yeah. Toothpaste, I mean, that just goes straight down the drain. So can you tell me the difference then when we talk about uh, cosmetics? What's the difference between natural and organic? Okay, well, they are very different. Now, natural is a ingredient that's derived from nature. But to say something is natural you on a brand, on a packet, you only need to have 5% naturally derived ingredients ingredients, 5%. So the other 95% are made up with other of the 7,000 chemicals that go into cosmetics. Okay. So organic refers to the ingredients that are derived from nature, but they're grown organically in organic soil. So the best way is to look for EcoCert or BioGrow, which is certification logos that come with organic products. So, you know, natural and organic are very, very different. Okay. So what are the ingredients that we should be avoiding in our beauty products? Look, there's quite a few. The first one's probably the preservatives. There are lots of natural um, alternatives now. So parabens and phthalates, you don't need those in cosmetics at all. Um, coconut oil, rosemary oil, um, honey is an equally good alternative. Um, so, uh, sodium lauryl sulfate, which is the thing that makes things lather up, like shampoo, that's also a no-no, and I wouldn't use that in any of my shampoo. I always have a clean beauty shampoo routine. Um, because there's alternatives, you know, coconut oil is a, has, is a natural alternative to that. Mm -hmm. um, and DEA, which are the products that give, you know, um, texture to things, which you don't need anymore either. So, I mean, in terms of ingredients, there's about 7,000 ingredient um, chemicals used in cosmetics. And they're not all bad, that's the other thing, they're not all bad, but it's mm -hmm. best to just read the labels, you know, just, you're the consumer, you know, work out for yourself what you're prepared to use and what you're not, and read the labels. Yeah, and stop buying things that have got the bad stuff in them, and then they hopefully would just yeah. maybe stop creating them. And you know, beauty companies are being more transparent about what they put in cosmetics, so it's good, you, you, you can know what's in your okay. cosmetics. Okay, so what are your favourites then? Look, I've got so many, I guess makeup wise, um, Burt's Bees is beautiful, Karen Morrell is a New Zealand brand, mm, grown, um, it's lovely. homegrown, beautiful lipsticks, um, Josie Moran is a beautiful brand, um, Jane Iredale, you can't go past Jane Iredale for natural cosmetics and a lot of brands look to her for their own innovation. Um, in terms of skincare, you know, Jalique, again, Grounded. Um, there's a beautiful brand, New Zealand brand called By Nature. Um, there's so many now. Um, Affordability-wise, Asano, it's available in the supermarket, you can't go past that either. You know, there is so much on offer now. As I said, it's the fastest growing uh, yeah. sector in the cosmetic industry. So natural wise, are they as effective as mainstream cosmetics? You know what, they can be. Um, and you've got to remember that most medicines come from a plant base. You know, most of the medicines mm. that we take come from a plant base. So you can't underestimate the power of what comes from Mother Nature. I think you have to be realistic with beauty. It can only do so much. <laughs> you know, I mean, we have this ideal that we're going to, it's going to make us 10 years younger. And maybe it's because beauty companies have told us that for so long and we're now believing it. But actually, there is no better way to look after yourself than within, you know, looking yeah. after. And it sounds really boring, but, you know, if you use natural beauty products and smoke 20 cigarettes a day, you know, it's not going to work. It's not it? going to work. So what goes in is just as important as what you put on the outside. Okay, let's body. talk about the new stuff. You've got quickly run through so, some of these. So um, Burt's Bees lipsticks, you know, they are 99% natural. And, you know, you eat most of the lipstick that you put on, so yeah. that's a good place oh, to start. You do. The other thing I want to talk about is wipes. You know, mm -hmm. we never flush them always put them in the bin. These are 98% natural cotton. 
um, unbleached cotton, um, and they're an exfoliating wipe, which is great because you don't need to use those microbeads in your exfoliating wipe. Right. Range. What else do you want to talk about um, for these ones? Jalique do a beautiful hand cream that is a 90% natural um, rose extract hand cream, which is divine. Um, you can't go past Jane Erdell, that's what I said to you before. This lemongrass facial mist is absolutely divine. I'm going to spray it for a smell. Spray it for a smell. Ooh. It's great at the end of the day, nice. you know, before you put on your night creams or day creams. Um, Asano, I talked about that before. They do an anti-aging range. The serum is divine. The night cream is divine. And this is a cute brand. It's called Drunk Elephant. It's available at Mecca. That's their um, antioxidant eye cream. Um, it's made from the morella oil, um, which is an African oil, and apparently elephants get drunk eating it. So, Gorgeous. Oh, yeah, that sounds fun. Put that in your eyes. Yeah. Hey, Trudy, always a pleasure. Thank you so much. Now, for more from Trudy, you can head to her website, beautyeq.co.nz.